The Gary Player Invitational Series recently returned to New York, where businessmen and women competed alongside the pros in the one-day Team Pro-Am tournament. The event raises money for the Player Foundation, whose mission is to provide quality education for underprivileged children around the world. Before play got underway, attention turned to the stunning Gary Player-designed Glen Arbor Golf Club, hosting the tournament for the second time. We now have days in Japan, China, South Africa, where it started, in the United States, in Britain, and also Abu Dhabi. So it's been a, a very, very gratifying time for me in my life to change people's lives, particularly when I struggle so much as a young person myself. We are playing at Glen Arbor here, which is one of the most beautiful places in the world, in fact. And uh, we have a wonderful field, great representatives from the ladies and the men's tour. And after all, it's all about raising money for people that are struggling in the world. I'm very grateful to be invited to play. You know, Gary is has invited me, to, uh, this is the third Berenberg uh, invitation the GPI I've, I've played in, two of them in London. Uh, but this, uh, you know, the whole point of this is to raise funds for the, uh, the disadvantaged kids around the world. And there's just so much that this foundation does to help these kids get out of the poverty-stricken path they're, gonna, they're leading in life. That's the thing. Education first. Education, education, education. That's what this, this foundation focuses on. Sponsoring the event, Berenberg have long been associated with the Player Foundation. It's an important relationship and one which has significantly contributed to the invitational events. I think the relationship started around eight years ago in South Africa. We actually get, got to know each other and he convinced us to actually do a tournament in South Africa to actually empower South African kids and just to actually give something and we did this. And like any relationship, it developed from there. We did some senior European tour events with him and then got to know each other better and we wanted to do this Gary Play Invitational different to actually raise more money for children effectively. And we just, um, just took all the professionals now who are superstars and attract other clients of us to come here and give more for a good cause. We got a lot of Hall of Famers out here and uh, you know a lot of major championship winners so when we all come together I think you know all the time we're trying to beat one another but we also realize that you know winning is, is kind of a small percentage of what we do but we're always competing and at the end of the day you know the relationships that we have made on and off the golf course are, are really cool. To see the homeless in Britain and visit them in the, the pool and to meet those young people was very touching to me. Uh, wherever I've gone, it's always been an experience and it makes me realize the most important, or one of the most essential ingredients in life is gratitude. To realize I wake up with my head on a white pillow, to get up and have a shower and have a beautiful breakfast. Millions, billions of people will never have that experience in their life. So I never forget to say thank you for that. So uh, golf has been a great catalyst at changing people's lives. We have raised, we at the almost plus minus 60 million now. Our dream is to get to 100 million. And uh, if I live to 100, which I'm hoping to do, there's no reason why we shouldn't. Among those taking part in New York was Brazilian golfer Victoria Lovelady, who'd represented her country at the Rio Olympics. Gary Player is a long-term supporter of golf's inclusion in the Olympics, and Victoria sang a song to thank him. Well, for me as a Brazilian, it was something that I was waiting for so many years and preparing, and I was very happy that I qualified to be in my country playing the Olympics. Uh, to see Gary there, uh, being part of the Olympic team for South Africa, you know, even though he wasn't playing, he was a coach, and he was able to experience the village and, you know, be one of us pretty much during the time. He was, you know, he was there for two weeks straight. Like, he followed not only the men, but also the ladies. Uh, and to see his disposition and his passion for the game in the Olympic Games was very important to continue to follow up with the games. Bill Haas and Carly Booth's team won the Invitational, making light work of the tough Glen Arbor course. And then the players tried their hand at a shootout to an island green, with varying levels of success. 
The evening gala offered a final chance to raise money for the Player Foundation with some impressive prizes. We have good auctions and we have wonderful prizes like going to the Open, the British Open. Uh, what a treat that is. It's still the greatest tournament in the world. Going to uh, the Masters, uh, all kinds of different trips, going to Wimbledon, which I just love. And that's what we want. We want people who know how to smile and have fun and uh, we have a little party, we dance together, we sing together and after all it's all about raising money for people that are struggling in the world.